I tell you how good it smells in here right now? Oh boy. Uh, in today's lunch break, a Cambodian fine dining restaurant has relocated in Rogers Park and it is serving up traditional family dishes. Owner and chef Mona Sang is joining us with uh, a bit of a fish dish. So the restaurant is Kamai or Kon Kamai. So Kamai you've got two yes. uh, different sort of versions of the restaurant. Uh, two right? different concepts. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, what you're making for us today is uh, going to be fish, but we're going to concentrate on sort of the sauce behind the fish. So um, I'll let you take it away. Sure. This is our Trey Jin Chuan. So it's the uh, snapper is bread in banana flour and coconut milk. And in here we have garlic, shallots, and galanga. And then we're going to add a little bit of uh, salted soybean to get that nice saltiness in it a little bit. We're going to stir fry with our grung butter here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very traditional in our country. We use that a lot. Uh, we're going to add some fresh herbs in there to give that very nice earthiness. Okay. Uh, we're going to cook it down for about like three minutes uh, just so that the ginger can get kind of like nice and soft a little bit. Okay. Um, and as you do that, I want to talk a little bit about the restaurant sure. and Cambodian food in general. So for folks that maybe perhaps have never tried it, uh, are interested in going to the restaurant, what should they know about it? Uh, we specialize in a lot of different funkiness. So we have funkiness up to 20. We use... Uh, a, a fermented fish called bahok. Um, Cambodians are really, really good at using it in a lot of dish. It smells really, really bad, and it tastes bad, but if you know how to use it, <laughs> okay. but if you know how to use it in some of these dishes, like Cambodians do, uh, mm -hmm. it elevates your uh, dishes really to a, a different level where it's savory, nice, and funky, spicy, uh, but Cambodians are really good at using the sauce bahok. Okay. So different type of funk that we use, we use um, fermented shrimp also. Um, so yeah, I mean pretty much like we are But known is the food, is it, is it spicy or it's just flavorful? Um, I would say spicy, flavorful, and again funky. So it's um, a little bit of everything. It's kind of like in your face a little uh -huh. bit. It's um, going to open up your palate. Uh, you're going to taste something that you probably never tasted before. You're going to be like, wow, what is this? But I really want some more. Okay. You know, a lot of times we do warn people with some of the dip, like if you've never had anything funky before, definitely uh, don't try it. Uh, maybe try something a little bit smaller, like our pahok yeah. beef, which has a little bit of pahok, the uh, fermented mudfish. And then if their palate can take it, then they move up higher and higher. Ooh. It's like climbing a ladder a little I bit. I love that. <laughs> okay. So that's what the kon khmai is. Um, so like right here, we have our panini. Um, so it's stuff so with So this our, is basically a steak sandwich. Basically, okay. yes, our steak sandwich here. Um, so the Kon Khmer, we wanted to make it a little bit more fun. Uh, so we take our traditional beef skewer um, and a little bit of our grung butter here too. We can top so you it. You put that over bit. the bread. Oh, a little bit of bread you're here. You're killing me here. <laughs> um, and so the Kon Khmer is just more my fun version ways of introducing all the different smaller little funk. Um, just because the Khmer side is very traditional and we keep it like really really funky okay so we tell people to try the goat kamai first and if you want to be really adventurous then come on to the kamai side then and move then on over have, move okay. on over and then and you have so the funk. you guys have been so popular that you actually <laughs> moved to this other location yes, right so now, tell me about this new location we are now in um loyola's um campus um we're in the hampton inn uh right across from the campus actually on mm -hmm. sheridan and albion um, it's a beautiful location. It used to be owned by another restaurant and we didn't really change much to it. We just kind of add our own little, you know, Cambodian touch to it. And we have really beautiful painting on a wall. Um, our front of the house manager, she is a very talented artist. And so she drew an Apsara dancer right there in the middle of our awesome. uh, dining area. So okay. when you come into the restaurant, you're going to see a lot of art, Cambodian art. Cambodian clothing, very traditional Cambodian um, food. And then on the Golden Khmer side, we're going to be serving bugs uh, sometime in August. We're bugs. Gonna do bugs. We're going to do silkworms. Cicadas? Uh, no. We're going to try to get <laughs> okay. cicadas too. We're going to do silkworms. We're going to do black and red ants. Uh, we're going to have our grilled corn that we're going to grill with some coconut savory with garlic and shallots. And then we're going to toast the black and red ants in a palm sugar and then we're going to top it right there on top so, so it's got a nice cool. savory and earthiness to it also. i love how you um try to stick to the culture <laughs> and not only do you present the food but you also present as you said the art the clothing everything yep. that yep. surrounds it so, so you can have a lot of cool. fun it's like a 
And then also on the Khmer side, we're going to be having dancers on the weekends. So uh, we're getting to prepare and launch that sometime in July. So again, when you come in, it's going to be a dinner, a show, an art room. You're Lots gonna going to be on. having a whole bunch of stuff going on. All right. <laughs> Look at that smile. Okay. So the fish, we put the sauce on yes. it. Are we done with the fish? So that's... Yep. Uh, okay. So you have the ginger, the mm -hmm. scallions. Um, you also have the galanga and then you have the krung butter. I'm going to top it a little bit with sweet soy and uh, oyster sauce there. Ooh. That little bit of nice. And then it's all ready. Okay. And you're going to get that nice crispiness, a little bit of funkiness from the salted soybeans, and then a little bit of, uh, again, earthiness from the ginger and the galanga. Okay. And then this right here, is this, this is what you, this was from the steak ah, sandwich? Uh, no. Actually, this is a different stew. Okay. This is going to be on the Khmer side. This is our kako. It is oxtail braised in our sweet Khmer barbecue sauce. It's very tangy, topped with crispy garlic. It's been braising for about seven hours. You're kidding, okay. Yes, so wow. it's very tender, falls off the bone, and then you can take a little bit of bread here, you're gonna dip it, and it soaks up all the nice uh, nice juice and uh, tenderness of the oxtails there. Okay, I love it. Can I ask you one more question? <laughs> sure. And then we'll, we'll, what, what is this sauce? That is this our Khmer famous chili fish sauce. Okay. My mom will not let anyone else make that fish sauce, but her. I'm still trying to steal the recipe, but she's still hiding it a little bit from me. <laughs> but basically, you top that with, uh, you're going to take the bread, you're going to dip that with the fish sauce, and then this is our krung butter, and then our Khmer barbecue sauce. So much going on. <laughs> okay. And then you can also take the tre uh, chin chun, the snapper, and dip it in the fish sauce, too, and you're going to get a whole lot of different flavors okay. in your mouth. we got to talk sure. to Mom to see if she gives you the, I know, the whole rest too. of the recipe. Okay. <laughs> Come yeah, on, Mom. Definitely. All right. Thank you so no much. Uh, and you can me. check out Kamai and Cone Kamai at 6580 North Sheridan and online at Kamai-Fine-Dining.com. Uh, Did I get that right? Yeah. Yes. So. <laughs> We're going to post the recipe on our website, wgntv.com slash midday.